What's going on guys, I'm Akeem Lewontin and in today's fix, Nintendo Network Compromise confirmed and the wonderful story of The Matrix. Let's get into it. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, Nintendo has confirmed that a total of 300,000 user accounts have been compromised. That's 140,000 cases above the 160,000 already declared in April. On the Nintendo Japan support page, the company states that an additional 140,000 Nintendo network IDs have been accessed maliciously. Now, Nintendo has contacted each account owner affected and the passwords of these accounts have been reset. Now, this entire situation is very scary. In April, Nintendo began investigating reports of unauthorized account breaches, leading to an estimation that 160,000 Nintendo network IDs had potentially been affected. Now, Nintendo initially said that this wasn't a security breach of the Nintendo network, but that the these damn hackers got their hacker hands on login data for accounts through other means. Other hacker means, I guess. But either way, it makes me want to switch my switch off. Seriously, I'm super freaked out by this information. Interestingly enough, even with 300,000 cases, Nintendo assures that less than 1% of Nintendo network IDs have been illegally logged into. Now, the company is currently in the process of refunding users who've had purchases made using their accounts. Only purchases made using PayPal or bank accounts are being refunded as credit card numbers weren't part of the compromise information. Nintendo is contacting those whose accounts have been affected. And I'll tell you guys right now, even if yours isn't one of them, it might be a good idea to change your password anyway and turn on two-factor authentication. You know, every time something like this breaks, whatever news like this breaks, you can never be too safe, so do it, guys. Now, what do you think about all of this? Really wanna know your thoughts, comment down below. Now, just when you thought it was safe to take the blue pill and return back to reality, we're hit with news that the Matrix is coming back. Wait, I don't know. Is it the red pill or the blue pill? Which one is it that takes you back to reality? I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen these movies. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth. In an interview with Empire, Carrie Ann Moss and Keanu Reeves talked about coming back for more in The Matrix 4. Moss said, quote, I never thought it would happen. It was never on my radar at all. When it was brought to me in the way that it was brought to me with incredible depth and all the integrity and artistry that you could imagine, I was like, this is a gift. It was just very exciting. Keanu Neal himself chimed in by saying, quote, Lana Wachowski wrote a beautiful script and a wonderful story that resonated with me. He further added, that's the only reason to do it, to work with her again, is just amazing. It's been really special and the story has, I think, some meaningful things to say and that we can take some nourishment from. Nourishment? From a story? Okay, whatever, Neo. He then ended the interview by simply saying, whoa. That, that, that last part is not confirmed, but it's Keanu Reeves we're talking about here. So it's likely he said it at least once during the entire interview. The Matrix 4 is expected to resume production in July. And that about does it for your daily fix for June 9th. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out Keanu in the Bill and Ted Face the Music official trailer. It's excellent. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to the daily fix on Snapchat. And for all things everything else, IGN.com. The biggest gaming event of the year is IGN's Summer of Gaming, and it's almost here. Tune into IGN throughout June to see the latest and greatest in game reveals, news, trailers, next-gen coverage, and more. We'll be kicking it off with our first ever IGN Expo, where you'll get first looks at world premiere game trailers, exclusive game demos, and interviews you won't find anywhere else. IGN's Summer of Gaming, only on IGN and IGN One on your Samsung TV+.